The Physicians Foundation says 2013 will be a watershed year for U.S. healthcare system. And along with that, they released a survey showing the top concerns for doctors for 2013. The number one concern was uncertainty over the Affordable Care Act. So given that that is the most important topic right now for doctors, we decided to talk to the executive director of the Center for Healthcare Quality and Payment Reform. And this is Harold D. Miller. And thank you very much. You're the keynote speaker here at the, uh, the Cardiovascular Summit. I don't know how that happened. It is, I'm happy to do it. and uh, the ACCF is produ is promoting this. And would you just, what's your message today? I mean, obviously, a lot of worried doctors out there. Well, I think 2013 actually is a pivotal year. It's not because of the Affordable Care Act; it's because of the federal deficit and the sustainable growth rate. We have this situation where every year doctors are facing a 25 to 30 percent pay cut. There's no other industry in America where the key professionals get told at the end of the year you might have your salary cut by 30 percent, regardless of whether you're doing a good job. And that's got to get fixed. But I think the only way it's going to get fixed is through physician leadership, with every specialty in America coming forward and saying, we will take the lead in terms of how to take accountability for cost and find a way to get Medicare and commercial spending under control so that we can actually get good, high-quality health care in America at an affordable cost. Do you think the great concern over the Affordable Care Act then is misplaced? And, and what can you say to encourage them that this is not going to be as terrifying as they may think? Well, I think there's an inherently uncertainty about how it's going to play out because it is a major change. I mean, with millions of Americans suddenly getting health care insurance for the first time, how do health insurance exchanges play out? Are health plans going to be changing? What's that mean in terms of physician contracting, et cetera? Huge uncertainty. So I think it's not misplaced at all. But I think that the Affordable Care Act, what it's done in terms of coverage, is actually going to be positive for physicians because there'll be more more patients who have health insurance and have the ability to pay for the kind of preventive care and good physician care rather than showing up at the emergency room or showing up with a you know late stage problem that's much more difficult and much more expensive to treat. So that's a good part of the Affordable Care Act, I think, for physicians. There's a lot of uncertain pieces in terms of some of the changes in payment and organizational structure that Medicare is trying to put in place. But again, I think one of the big problems is that right now this is being done in a top-down fashion from Washington, and we need to do more in terms of a bottoms-up approach with physicians all over the country stepping forward and saying, how can we improve care, reduce cost, and how do we need to be paid in order to be able to support that? So that's really what I'm going to be talking about at the conference today. So what is your advice specifically? I mean, at this point, they may think that they're just screaming into a hurricane when they say something needs to be done. Well, I think policymakers uh, in Washington are really desperate for different solutions. I mean, I've talked to uh, congressional leaders and staff in Congress, and they are desperate to find some other approach to substitute for the sustainable growth rate formula. Um, but they can't just keep kicking the can down the road, and it is a um, $300 billion problem to solve. But I think it's physicians that actually are the ones that have the best and most direct influence over what happens in the healthcare system and where spending is going. And if the physicians actually have are empowered to be able to have the flexibility and the accountability to take control of that, I think that they can uh, work wonders. And in pilot projects around the country, physicians have done that, have shown that you can dramatically reduce the cost of care and improve the quality of care. But it has to be physician-led. And in terms of if something is working, figure out what is, is working and try and communicate that to other people? Well, that's right. And I think that it really starts with uh, what's the change in care. And one of the problems is I think it, there's a widespread acceptance that fee-for-service payment is part of the problem. But what's happening is that people are trying to change the payment system first, and then somehow doctors are supposed to adapt to that. It, it's really completely backwards. What should happen is the doctor should say, how should care change? in a way to make it higher quality and lower cost. And then how do we need to be paid to be able to support that? And that's where the physician leadership comes into play. In an era when it is really a nerve-wracking uh, 2013, any advice for just getting through it? Uh, well, I think that there is a better future. Uh, it may take a while to get there. There will undoubtedly be bumps along the road. But I, and I think one of the challenges for physicians is physicians are busy taking care of patients. Um, and it's very difficult to step back and say, okay, where do we find the time to uh, reinvent care and to advocate for uh, better payment systems? But I think fundamentally they have to do that. They have to find that time um, and take that leadership because the solutions that are going to come from uh, the government, from health plans, are going to be vastly inferior to what physicians can come up with on their own. 
And we have a featured interview with uh, Mr. Miller, so please look for Cardiosource World News. I'm executive editor Rick McGuire.